It's no secret that Grand Theft Auto V has a lot of things that you can drive in. Over 700 vehicles in fact, that's 700 different things that one can ride, drive, fly, submerge and blow tryhards with. But it's hard to really see just how this looks in the game, like what if we got every single vehicle in the game and put them into the world? Well as it turns out, GTA men decided to do just that. He went ahead and grabbed all of the DLC vehicles that were added over the years and lined them up side by side on the freeway. With the amount of vehicles that there were, he was able to make it a significant distance across the map. However, there were a few problems with the video, all of which stemmed down to Grand Theft Auto V's game engine. If you watch the video, you'll find that he used a lot of jump cuts and close camera shots when viewing the vehicles. This was because GTA men was heavily tied down by the game engine. More specifically, the inability to just go ahead and spawn every single vehicle in the game and then record it. While you would think that the game would crash if you did just that, and well it probably would, the game actually has a hard limit to the amount of vehicles that can spawn in the game at any one time. And that number is the very specific 127, a far cry from the 700 plus that there are in the game. But what if I told you there was another way? What if I said that I actually managed to do GTA Men's video idea, but on a grander scale? That's right, here it is, all of the cars, bikes, boats, planes, helicopters, and everything in between lined up nose to end. This is how I did it. So I went around and planned where all of the cards would lie. I got in a really fast car and recorded myself driving around the map of Los Santos. No cars were to be added at this stage. All I needed was a recording to act as a moving camera shot to show everything in their final form. With this done, it's about time I introduce you to the mod menu that me, as well as a few YouTubers, GTA men included, use to create videos. Menu. Menu has a feature that essentially acts as an in-game map editor, known as Spooner. Spooner lets you place objects, people, weapons, cars, whatever you can think of. You can add them to a database to enable yourself to program in special events like telling a person to walk in a said direction, play a dancing animation, teleport a few feet away and then stop living. When an object is in the Spooner database, the render priority is heightened to the highest level. This car that's been added to Spooner database will never despawn. It will stay there until it's deleted. This also applies when going into Rockstar Editor. Let's open up a Rockstar Editor clip that I made a little while ago. Take note of what the scene looks like. Perfectly normal. Now let's go back into the game and add a few Spooner database objects to the scene. Now let's go back to the same Rockstar Editor clip and you'll see that the object is still there, despite the fact that it originally wasn't there when I made the Rockstar recording. With this in mind, we can exploit this. Remember I made a camera pan travelling along the freeway? Well I'm sure you can now figure out what's gonna happen next. Time to add the cars. Like GTA men, I'm still limited to the hard limit of 127 vehicles in any one scene, but that's okay because I have another trick up my sleeve. I place vehicles for as long as I can. Then once I reach the hard limit, I take note of the exact position of the final car in the chain, I go straight into Rockstar Editor and render out the scene that I did before, only with these added vehicles in, and then I delete all of the cars that I placed down. Then from there I continue where I left off with the next vehicles in the chain. So instead of doing the entire chain of every vehicle in the game, I do it in bite sized chunks. I repeat this process until I've made a theoretical line of every single vehicle in the game, and with 7 Rockstar rendered videos in my possession, it's time to make the magic begin. So now all I have to really do is just to hop into Blender, use the mask and compositing tools to make the seamless transitions, use the compositor node editor to compile them correctly and then hit render. The final result. Every car, bike, boat, plane, helicopter and everything in between visually represented nose to tail and how far does it stretch? It 
it's not actually as far as I thought it would be. So there we have it folks, a completely meaningless video that looks kinda cool I guess. Thanks for watching, and thanks to GTA Men for the idea and laying out the groundwork. A link to his channel can be found in the description below. Thanks for watching.